Either thou, or I, or both must go with him. Thou wretched boy that didst consort him here, shalt with him hence. This shall determine that. Romeo, away, be gone, the citizens are up, and Tybalt slain. Stand not amazed, the prince will doom thee death if thou art taken. Hence, be gone, away. Oh, I am fortune's fool. Why dost thou stay? Which way ran he that killed Mercutio? Tybalt, that murderer, which way ran he? There lies that Tybalt. Up, sir, go with me, I charge thee in the prince's name, obey. Where are the vile beginners of this fray? O oh, noble prince, I can discover all the unlucky manage of this fatal brawl. There lies the man slain by young Romeo that slew thy kinsman, brave Mercutio. Tybalt, my cousin, oh, my brother's child, O oh, prince, O oh, cousin, husband, oh, the blood is spilled of my dear kinsman, prince, as thou art true, for blood of ours, shed blood of Montague, oh, cousin, cousin. Benvolio, who began this bloody fray? Tybalt, here slain, whom Romeo's hand did slay. Romeo, that spoke him fair, bid him bethink how nice the quarrel was, and urged with all your high displeasure. All this uttered with gentle breath, calm look, knees humbly bowed, could not take truce with the unruly spleen of Tybalt, deaf to peace, but that he tilts with piercing steel at bold Mercutio's breast, who, all is hot, turns deadly point to point, and, with a martial scorn, with one hand beats cold death aside, and with the other sends it back to Tybalt, whose dexterity retorts it. Romeo, he cries aloud, Hold, friends, friends, part! And swifter than his tongue, his agile arm beats down their fatal points, and twixt them rushes, underneath whose arm an envious thrust from Tybalt hit the life of stout Mercutio, and then Tybalt fled. But by and by comes back to Romeo, who had but newly entertained revenge, and toot they go like lightning, for ere I could draw to part them was stout Tybalt slain, and as he fell did Romeo turn and fly. This is the truth, or let Benvolio die. He is a kinsman to the Montague. Affection makes him false. He speaks not true. Some twenty of them fought in this black strife, and all those twenty could but kill one life. I beg for justice, which thou, prince, must give. Romeo slew Tybalt. Romeo must not live. Romeo slew him. He slew Mercutio. Who now the price of this dear blood doth owe? Not Romeo, prince. He was Mercutio's friend. His fault concludes, but what the law should end, the life of Tybalt. And for that offence, immediately we do exile him hence. I have an interest in your hate's proceeding. My blood for your rude brawls doth lie a-bleeding. And I'll immerse you with so strong a fine that you shall all repent the loss of mine. I will be deaf to pleading and excuses, no tears nor prayers shall purchase out abuses, therefore use none, let Romeo hence in haste, else when he's found that hour is his last, bear hence this body, and attend your will, mercy but murders, pardoning those that kill. <laughs> Thank you.